Hey there, it's another edition of Coffee with the Goose. You know, I talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating, and this one is really irritating for me. Okay, we'll get into the details here in a second. Uh, uh, yes, I am in the Philippines. Unfortunately, it's for a sad occasion. Uh, my father-in-law, Roberto, passed away a few days ago, so uh, we will lay him to rest later today, actually, so a very sad note. At any rate, uh, things continue to move on. Uh, Manny Pacquiao getting ready to fight again, if you want to call it that. Uh, he's going to be in Seoul, South Korea, fighting some schmuck. I'm sorry, some uh, uh, martial arts expert, DKU on uh, the 11th or 10th if you're in the United States. Uh, it's all exhibition, uh, all to raise money, I believe, for uh, Ukraine war victims and uh, folks in the Philippines. So it's, it's a good note. Anyhow, this video is about Manny Pacquiao, about a fight that happened 22 years ago. And, uh, you know, people just want to make news. We see that all the time, in politics especially. In Hollywood, uh, you know, people just want to make much ado about nothing, and this is certainly nothing, but it's got everybody's attention, so I have to address it, okay? Uh, a uh, Filipino uh, boxing referee, Carlos Padilla, uh, was uh, in charge, uh, a referee, uh, in a fight in 2000 between a young Manny Pacquiao and uh, Nadal Hussein, okay? It was a brutal slugfest. Uh, won by Pacquiao in the end. But early in the fight, uh, Hussein knocked him down, and it was a vicious knockdown. I thought he was down for the count. Now, this is where the controversy starts. Padilla came out and said recently that, oh gosh, I have to admit, I cheated, I, I favored Pacquiao because he's my countryman, and oh, it was a long count, and oh gosh, I'm really, really sorry, and that... Uh, you know, tell, oh, it's a big controversy. He admits cheating for Pacquiao. No, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. I don't care what he says. I've seen it. I watched the fight. You can look it up yourself. There's nothing untoward at all. Now, if you've watched boxing just a little bit, you know nothing happened. Uh, again, it was a vicious knockdown. And uh, at first, it looked like Pacquiao was not going to get up. Um, you know, the people who want to fame... F uh, fan the flames of controversy say it was an 18 second count and he should have been up by 10 seconds and it's just oh it's cheating and uh, oh it's horrible and shame on these people watch it watch it he's up before the 10 count okay the pres the uh, succeeding eight seconds or whatever it was was totally legit if you've seen boxing you know exactly what I'm talking about he gets up at nine, okay, he still looks shaky for a second or two, but then he's fine, he's bouncing. And the referee looks at him, as referees do, and then he says, okay, come here. And Pacquiao doesn't come to him right away, and then he says, come on, come here. And then Pacquiao does, he rubs his gloves on his shirt to get the sweat and the gook off it, then they continue to fight. It was that simple. That's okay, Sally. <laughs> I'm in Sally's so home here. Um, my sister. And that was it. Was, was something unusual about that? No. Was it cheating? No. Was it a long count? No. No on all counts. No, no all, all, you know. And, but then again, you look at the, uh, the people who, you know, these YouTube geniuses, okay? I don't, I don't claim to be a genius. I'm, I'm just having fun here. Uh, oh, come on. That just shows right away. That's, that's, uh, 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 corruption in boxing and you know Pacquiao he's known for this and that and this and that no again he's never failed to drug test or any of that it's just so much nonsense and uh, then the comments and I love reading the comments section and everyone just chimes in but people who watch the fight or watch the highlights especially that part of the fight they, they know better because they see it it's plain plain view simple as can be Pacquiao gets knocked down, he gets up before the 10 count, you can't deny that, and then like I said, the, the succeeding six to eight seconds or so was totally legit, uh, you know, Pacquiao is up, he's bouncing, he's awake, he's able to continue, and uh, the referee simply just rubs his gloves off and they continue to fight. Now, how can you possibly look at that and say there's controversy or somebody cheated other than 
uh, you know, uh, Pedelia said he cheated or favored Pacquiao, which is, I don't know, be that as it may, whatever he said, he, you know, was, uh, he has the right to say whatever he wants to say, but my eyes aren't lying to me. I see what's happening. So anyway, that's all I want to share with you guys. That's just so much nonsense, so much BS. It's just more... Uh, you know, another example of how people want to create controversy, uh, the, damn the truth. <laughs> we have no time for truth here or facts. Uh, and they just, you know, run off with their, their story um, that's filled with, uh, well, I don't want to say lies. Yeah, lies. It's just, uh, there was no controversy there. Uh, he got up before the eight count, uh, 10 count and that was it. So anyhow, uh, Let's get back to the present, shall we? Pacquiao getting set to fight, if you want to call it that, an <laughs> exhibition bout against DKU in Seoul, South Korea, uh, here in just a few days. And of course we're excited. I'm a big Pacquiao fan. You know, I've, uh, he has been nice enough, his camp nice enough, Freddie Roach and, and uh, company uh, let me in their camp and interviewed everybody and, and you know, everyone is so nice. I have the utmost respect for Pacquiao and his people and everything that he has done to, uh, you know, make the sport interesting again and to help those in need. Pacquiao is, uh, he's, he's one of my, uh, he's one of my favorites and he's going to fight against um, DKU uh, and uh, the only problem I have with this is DKU is, yeah, I don't want to say he's a fraud because he's, He's got uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of people who go to his camps to learn about uh, mixed martial arts and different uh, types of uh, uh, fighting. And uh, he puts on a good show for his students and for the internet. But you can see that he's not the real deal. You can teach all you want and uh, talk all you want about what you've done and what you're capable of doing. But when uh, push comes to shove, which it did with TKU a few years ago against a real mixed martial arts fighter. You see what, you know, uh, it's, it's just a house of cards. He was uh, humbled, humiliated, beaten up, and um, it was embarrassing. And he made excuses to, to make it worse. It's bad enough when you lose. We all lose in life, right? We all, uh, no matter how good you are, you're going to lose, you're going to fail, you're going to fall short of your goal. But that's that's normal that's life that's to be expected but what makes you uh, a better human being is getting up and saying yeah my bad i failed uh i'll do better next time i'll i'll um, apply you know uh, uh you know reapply myself and work on what i was unable to uh, accomplish or succeed at in the fight and we'll do better next time but uh dk you didn't do that and he just made excuses and that's just you know, any respect I had for the guy was completely gone by that time. So but what's going to happen in uh, Seoul, South Korea uh, this coming weekend when Pacquiao squares off against DKU? Well, Pacquiao's going to win. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a given. Uh, they're going to raise money for the needy. That's a given, and that's a beautiful thing. But when and how it's going to take place, we don't know. Hopefully it's going to be fairly quick. It'll be a KO. It should be. Uh, given the skill differences between these two guys, you got a, a legendary fighter, one of the greatest of all time, against some guy who <clears throat> I don't know how he got, uh, uh, you know, this fight with Pacquiao to begin with. Maybe it's just his popularity. So uh, he's Pacquiao's going to win. What's going to happen after that? That's the only question I have. The real question is: He going to fight again? I predicted. And don't hold me to my predictions. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. But after he retired following his loss to Ugas last year, uh, I came right out and said, no, 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 he's not done. He'll fight again. A real fight, not exhibition. He'll fight again. And uh, I still think he's going to for many different reasons. Number one, that's what he wants. That's what he lives for. That's what he's done all his life. He doesn't want to go out on a down note like that, losing in that way with all the shenanigans surrounding that fight and uh, that's what the fans want and he wants to please the fans he always has and he uh, he always has wanted to please the fans and he's always done it that's why he's so popular that's why we love Manny Pacquiao so uh, I think he'll make a uh, 
an announcement fairly soon after this DKU exhibition, and hopefully he'll get back into the ring. And you know Manny Pacquiao, when he gets back into the ring, for real, it won't be against some schmuck. He always fights the best, and hopefully that will mean a fight for a championship, and he's fully capable of doing that. He's still one of the best, I believe. So there you go. That's the uh, the gist of it. Uh, the controversy surrounding the uh, Nadal Hussein Hussein fight years many years ago. There's no controversy. There's nothing there. It's totally normal. Everything that happened was on the up and up. Just watch the video, and you'll see what I mean. And you hopefully you'll agree with me if you, <laughs> if your eyes work and you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, there's no controversy. I don't know why the referee came out and said what he said. That's uh, that's his issue. So there you go. Pacquiao, no controversy. Fight coming up this weekend and hopefully more real Manny Pacquiao fights in the future. That's it for this edition of Coffee with a Goose. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.